got that point absolutely fly. Marquez did not get away well. One of the Ducatis is up. First corner, the new Yamaha whole shot device working a dream. The whole shot of the world champion, Mark Marquez, all still there. Heading down now into turn six. The soft front tire will not give you straight up and down braking to be called. Is that why Vinales and Rossi have gone for it? It's a gamble that he wanted to do. He did it in Sepang. He said he's first coming through turn eight, lighting up that rear tire. Maverick out the seat. Mark Marquez, we're on board with three. The Vinales will surely lead at the end of lap one. Problem now for Fabio Quattararo, Jack Miller. So Fabio Quattararo has got a bit of a conundrum here because Miller and the Ducati through. Well, Fabio Quattararo was wide again there into turn one. Fabio Quattararo trying to use that spare tyre, which has thrown the Ducatis a bit of a curveball. He's never going to, though, get Bonner to learn how to start in a MotoGP race. Don't look at Marquez, don't look at Vinales, don't look at Quattararo. Look at Bradley. Five places, he's one behind Rossi into 11th. Yeah, Rossi check, he's in 10th place. Right. He had to get that done. Brilliantly done, but he's run it wide and... Oh! Can it get any worse for the factory Suzuki team? Alex Rins out through in corner. Oh, no. There was another gap and Maverick said thank you very much. This is brilliant stuff here from Maverick. Since mid-November last year, Marquez stopped cheering from the Quattararo already now. Pulling away from Banyaya in fifth and then it's Dovi. Already running a little bit to our expected oh, form. The corner speed honest. of the Yamaha. Do you know what? I think mate, the pace not good enough. If this is Maverick's rhythm early on, I'm going. I'm going to try and get in response to the moment to Marquez. Mark already, he was leak. He does not care one iota. Simon, your thoughts on that, please? Terrifying. There's no room. You know, he is very, very similar to the first turn. In Just too over eager to get away. Stages of this 2020 season. My goodness, here comes Fabio Quattararo. He wants to hold off. Brilliantly done from the Frenchman. Yamaha a 1-2 again. Quattararo. Hey there. He is a uh, leak. He's pushing so, so hard to try and get away. Simon. Guys, the other thing, to compose himself before he hit the gravel. And he the is, Matt, is it brings all these guys into contention. I mean, the yeah. likes of Miller, and we're in the shot here for a podium. Valentino yeah. Rossi struggling a bit. There's a big gap between more. At the moment, he's been able to keep up. I think Mark Marquez, with a pace like this, could still make the podium. Mate. The ride of a lifetime. I'm so wow. happy to turn four. I'm full of after In on the front there, look at that, he's wide in there, and Fabio Quattararo! Has he made the big mistake? He's shaking his head there, he's dropped back to third place. Is there anything? The front after that mistake by Vinales. Miller in second. Marquez, Contu, they head over the crest down into turn two. In MotoGP is Marquez. Paulus Bargaro, fades really. You here, you just never know. I mean, it's so hard to predict what's going to happen based on what's happened already. Well, that would be so slightly more moist and cool the conditions I seem to predict in the future when it comes to MotoGP. I mean, look at him. He's up behind Miguel Oliveira here, who's in ninth. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Be here in second place. Sorry to say at this stage for Vinales fans, it looks like but he dips into the 39s. Not as quick as Miller. Nowhere near as quick as Qua. Okay, yes. Perhaps a little bit earlier, Paulus Bargaro. Ruthless, brilliant up the end, best ever dry race finish. What a ride by Paulus Bargaro, that's why Repsol Honda picked him up for next. Oh, Davizioso now going through on Peko Bagnaia, and we said that Davizioso through to the podium. Funny old game, motorcycle racing, isn't it? June 28th, here we are. Two of these, not going to let it slip through his grasp. Mark's pace, these guys, but in terms of the amount of time left, and the amount of time he's eating away from Fabio Quattro. Pick off Franco Morbidelli in the braking zone into turn number six. So you'd think that Marquez will be making light work very, very soon. Uh, Mark Marquez, he takes all the room needed. Gonna do everything perfect, no to recover something from the race. And uh, it, it makes me believe that if stage of the race. Never a more true word spoken by Simon Cross. Well, it, look, look, it looks like Miller as well is cut nibble. Oh, Valentino Rossi, what's happened to him? Front tyres are covered in dirt, that's for sure. It's Marquez here, goes through. So out. Vinales takes second place back from Miller. It's all and surely for the podium. He holds on to fourth place ahead of Andrea De Vizioso. It's futile for the Australian. Marquez then now starts as well. No points not for the day for the Spanish rookie. What's the gap? Last time he high sided, of course. What was that at the end of last year? Blimey, oh, that's a whack. hot down. Trials and tribulations of this race for Mark Marquez. How many more talking points do you want? Oh, he looked mad. Absolutely. He's because been this 21 year old sent. These guys are all scrapping it out for podiums. They are some precious, precious points that we've said all weekend long. Any mistakes could be punished. I didn't expect them to join.
these guys on the podium, Fabio Quattararo, these two laps well to here last year when that gear shifter denied him what looked like a second place. Quattararo is about to add his name to an line. He was the last Frenchman to win a MotoGP race on Spanish soil in Valencia. Wins his first ever Grand Prix in Moto2.